All right, guys, now we're going to graph rational functions. Here is my, um, actually, I'm going to use this one. I think this one's better. If you were in first period and you're watching this, this one I think is a little bit better. I did in third period. It has a little bit more information on there. So there you go. Okay, here is your rational functions. Stop if you need to write that down. Okay, so we're going to work problem number um, three. And when I have a problem like this, I notice there is an x in the numerator and there's an x in the denominator. So this is going to be a rational function. I have no idea what that's going to look like. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is 1. If you look here, follow your, follow this, you guys. Step 1, find your x-intercept. Set your numerator equal to 0. Set numerator equal to 0. x plus 4 equals 0. x equals negative 4. So now I can find my x-intercept. x is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there. And I can put this on negative 4. 0. Don't just put negative 4. It's a point. Put that like that. Step number 2. What's on my thing? My vertical asymptote. Set denominator equal to 0. For x plus 12 equals 0. Now, you can factor this, but you don't have to. If I factor it, I'm going to get 4x plus 3 equals to 0. You can solve that the exact same way. Since I can't cross anything out, which I should have done at the beginning, but I knew I didn't have to do that. Since I can't cross anything out, I'm just going to set these equal to 0. I can solve this for x equals negative 12 x equals negative 3. could do it here i'd do the same thing divide by 4 and get 0 divided by 4 is 0 x plus 3 x equals negative 3. okay or all right so i get x equals 3 is my vertical asymptote x equals 1, 2, 3, right here. Done. Horizontal asymptote. This is where you have your Bobo Botany at DC. I'm going to look at my notes. Horizontal asymptote. Is this a Bobo? Is it a Botan? Is it an Eats DC? I'm looking at these numbers right here. And I notice that this is x to the first power. This is x to the first power. They have no exponents. They are the same. The exponents are the same. So horizontal asymptote, the exponents are the same. So I'm going to divide the coefficients. The coefficient here is 1. I'm going to get y equals 1 divided by 4. That's it. That's your horizontal asymptote. Yes, it is a fraction. Yes, that's okay. y equals 1 over 4. So now I can grab that and it's just somewhere right in between, well, fourth of the way up. And there you go. I'm not crossing anything out. There are no holes. Oops, none. My domain is the same as before. It's the set of all numbers where x cannot equal my asymptote. It cannot equal negative 3. Do you see that? 
And my y is the set of numbers where y cannot equal 1 fourth. So now I'm going to look to my graph. And I'm going to plug in the equation and just like that. I'm going to use my parentheses. x plus 4 and parentheses divided by 4x plus 12 and the parentheses, oops, parentheses 4x plus 12 and the parentheses graph. And I'm going to look to make sure that my asymptotes are about the same, and they are. So I'm going to go to my table. I'm going to double check and make sure at negative 3 there is an error there. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So now I can go back to my graph and or go to your table and plot negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. I've already done that. So this is going to be right like this. And negative 2 and a half, negative 2, 1, 2 and a half. So it's right above the asymptote there. And it looks like that. Okay, so please use your cheat sheet. Please use this when you're looking at this stuff. Okay, that gives you a lot of information if you kind of know how to do it. I'm going to do one more with the holes, and that will be on another video.